Okay, I'm going to show you how to crop using Cerise Free Movie Plus Starter Edition. And the first thing we need is a little video clip. I'm going to click the media bar, click import media, click import in the list. I'm going to go to a little clip I made specifically for practice called Short Fish. It appears here in the imported media pane. I'm going to click and drag it down to the video track. Now the audio on this is uh, crowd audio. Okay, and I'm going to click it to mute it. Oh, it has no audio actually because I muted it when I made the clip, now that I think about it. Okay, this video shows pretty much a little lazy, relaxing scene of fish just swimming around. And let's say we want to crop it down. Okay, let's move the bar back. Uh, first of all, click on the video clip to highlight it. Then go up here to where it says fit and make sure you're going to check mark and crop right here. Okay, once you do that, you open your properties, click on the property bar. Okay, so you have that here. There we go. And you'll notice there's nothing there yet that says crop. Come back up here in the upper left-hand corner of your clip. You'll see a little drop-down arrow in a yellow box. Click on that. You'll see Opacity, Crop, Transform, In-Out Points. Just click on Crop. And now, now over here in the Properties bar, Pane, you will see your video with a boundary around it and then handles. Handles on each midline, handles in each corner for you to use to crop the video. Now, for a simple crop, now this cropping is connected with uh, basically pan and zoom, so you have to set a couple of keyframes. First one you want to do is right here in the middle, you've set one keyframe already, and you can push, if you push in one corner, you notice it goes up into the other corner. If you want to use the middle of the video as your anchor point, in other words, bring in all the lines around the same point in the middle, Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, grab and click and drag on any corner and click and drag in and out and you can see it's coming in and out around the middle. Okay, now if we play our video, it's cropped. You can see here the fish are all close up. It'll stay that way through the whole time. It will not ever go back to full size. Now all you have to do, your video is cropped. Let's say you don't want, let's say you want the video to be this size, but you don't want it in the middle. Just click and drag it wherever you want it. That's what makes this a really nice program to use. Let's say you only want it right there. Okay, there you go. Now the person that did the camera work is moving the camera around a little bit. That's not the uh, program panning at all. You kind of moved it around. Okay. Now, let's back up just a tad. Let's say we wanted to zoom in and zoom out. Or maybe just zoom in and leave it that way. We can set some more key points. Excuse me, key frames. If you'll go down to the row here where it says crop, your cursor turns into a plus sign. I don't think this is showing in Cam Studio. For some reason, Cam Studio and Windows 7 will even show my, uh, my regular cursor. It shows the weight cursor, the circle. Come over to a point, or you can even slide the bar over to a time. Let's say right in the middle of the video, you want it to be smallest. So slide the bar over. Come down, it turns into a plus, just click. You made a keyframe. Now come back to your cropping boundary and bring it in real small. Okay? Come back over. Let's say you want it to be big again at the end. Come to the end. Cursor turns into a plus. Click. Hold down the Alt key. Take it back out again. Now when you play your video, watch what happens. It 
zooms in like you're swimming through the fish reaches a low point and zooms out again use keyframing to do pan and zoom okay now that's simple and basically that's all I'm going to show if you have any any questions you can always uh, you know post another question you can post them here you can post them on Yahoo Answers. Okay, thank you so very much.